Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I was inspired by one of the trendiest eyeshadow shades of the season, orange. Now wearing all of these warm tones kind of had me thinking about fall and Thanksgiving, pumpkin pie. So I decided to name this look after the PSL. Now just like pumpkin, orange eyeshadow is pretty polarizing. So keep in mind that you can always swap these colors for something that you prefer instead. Now let's get started. Pumpkin spice lattes and messy buns go hand in hand. So I'm using my Invisi Bobble hair ring to tie my hair back. I am so late to the party on these, but they are amazing for long hair because they won't get tangled or cause any breakage. These were sent to me complimentary to review and I am obsessed with them. Now that my hair is back, I'm priming my face with Dior Dream Skin. This helps control redness, tighten pores. It's more of a treatment, but it works wonders as a primer as well. Next, I'm priming my eyelids. Since I'm doing my eyes first, and I'm using the Chanel Lid Primer, and then blending this out with my Sigma Tapered Kabuki Brush. With my new Dior Blush 643 Standout, I'm using a fluffy brush to buff this into the crease as a transition shade. I'm blending all of the way in and all of the way out of the crease, extending out just a little bit and then dragging it back on the outer lash line. The color builds up really easy and then when most of the product has already been distributed in the crease, I'm going to blend over on top of everything just to keep it nice and smooth. Taking my Desert Rouge Single Eyeshadow from Chanel, I'm going in with a flat eyeshadow brush on my inner and outer lid, keeping the center blank. I'm going to be careful when I apply this shade low, up to the crease, even maybe a little bit in the crease, but nowhere above it on both sides. Using a flat brush helps keep the color more condensed exactly where I want it. Using a fluffy brush would diffuse and spread the product all over the place, so you want to be careful. But then of course I do want to go ahead and blend out the crease to keep the orange and the red transition nice and smooth before moving on. Next, I'm picking up a dark brown eyeshadow from the Claire Obscure Chanel palette. Any dark brown eyeshadow would do, and I am packing this in the outer V area on both sides. You could absolutely skip this part to keep the look lighter overall, but I think it's nice to add a little bit more dimension. Again, here a compact brush is crucial to keep the eyeshadow exactly where you want it. I'm going to slightly blend this inside the crease, but I'm really keeping the color concentrated in that outer crease, outer lash line. And then I will quickly blend over it to keep it nice and smooth before moving on. To add a nice pop in the center of the lid, I'm going to take my new Moon. It's my favorite cream eyeshadow from Chanel. It's this perfect kind of sparkly rose gold. And I'm going to pop that on with my fingers. You could absolutely use a flat shader brush for this, but fingers are just perfect. As the very last step, I'm just going to quickly blend out the crease with my original fluffy brush to complete the eyes. Before I begin my face, I'm going to clean up my under eyes, and I just used a little bit more of that Dream Skin to get rid of any fallout, and then I'm going in with my foundation. Today, I'm using one of my absolute tried and true favorites, the Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra 24 Hour Wear. It has great coverage, a natural matte finish, and it never feels or looks too heavy. Off camera, I mixed in the tiniest bit of my Dior Air Flash to get the color right since I did sunless tan this week. And I'm just smoothing this all over my face with my flat top kabuki brush. Once I've blended out my foundation, I'm going in with my Chanel concealer under my eyes and on the center parts of my face to highlight. I really love the texture of this concealer. It has the perfect amount of coverage, it's not too thick, and it's less drying than the original formula. And I'm gonna blend this out with my Sigma Tapered Kabuki Brush as usual, which makes it nice and fast, easy, and it picks up excess product. To set my face, I'm using the Chanel Loose Powder on a large tapered powder brush. I never like to touch up my face throughout the day, and because of this powder, I really don't have to. It's really finely milled, it looks airbrushed on the skin. To warm up my complexion, I'm using the Laura Mercier Baked Bronzer on a large powder brush. This was sent to me complimentary to review from Laura Mercier, and I love how sheer and buildable it is. 
it's slightly luminous and very warm tone so it matches this orange eye look perfectly. So I'm blending this on the hollows of my cheeks, up around my temples and hairline, and of course down along my chin and jawline as well. For blush, I'm going into my Dior to keep the look nice and monochromatic. I love this blush because it's so different from anything that I previously owned. The shade is just right. It's perfectly on trend with the season. It's full of pumpkin spice and everything nice. Now to highlight, I'm using my Plissé Lumiere de Chanel, which is virtually identical to the ivory gold illuminating powder that's still available. And I'm just going to dust this on the tops of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, the ball of my nose, and my cupid's bow. To fill in my eyebrows, I've been using the Chanel Crayon Sourcil and 30 Brown Natural. And today I'm trying a new product, the Anna Sui Brow Gel. This is going to set my hairs in place so that they won't budge. This was sent to me complimentary to review as well, and I must say that I've really been impressed. A little bit goes a long way. I did both brows without having to go back into the tube for more product. The blush was perfectly petite, and the shade added a touch of warmth and darkness to my brows that I really loved. And this gel truly kept them in place throughout my workday and then later for dinner. I could easily see adding this into my daily routine. Now to finish the lower lash line, I'm taking my orange blush on a tapered eyeshadow brush and I'm buffing out the lower lash line, keeping this nice and softly diffused. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna go back with my dark brown eyeshadow on a small precision brush. And this is when I'm going right into the lash line on both sides to define the eye. Using my Nudie Clat Steal Away Contour Stick from Chanel, I'm just going to quickly highlight my brow bone, inner corner of the eye on both sides. I love this product. It's so easy and convenient because you can just blend it out with your fingers. I have even more new products to test out. So today I'm using the Lancome Sills Booster and Hypnostrama Mascara on my lashes. This was sent to me complimentary to review from Lancome and wow! I have been on a new mascara kick lately trying several different new formulas, but this combination is really incredible. The primer is so nice for coating lashes to build up volume. I also have my new lash serum to thank for that, but the mascara itself was also really good. I love the curvature of the wand. It was fast, easy, definitely incredibly dramatic lash results, which I love. I already lined my top lash line with the signature de Chanel eyeliner pen, and finally I'm ready for lipstick. I wanted something coral orangey red, so I went with my Rouge G lipstick number 28 from Guerlain. The cases are interchangeable and customizable, plus they each have a mirror compact, which is really convenient. I am so in love with this lipstick. I know I've worn it before in my videos, but not only is the color great, but it's hydrating and so long wearing. I eat lunch, I'll have a coffee break, and my lipstick is still going strong, which to me is so impressive for a bullet lipstick. But of course, it's exactly what you'd expect from Guerlain. Their products are incredible, and they were nice enough to send this to me complimentary, but all opinions are my own. And that completes the look. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you're now in the mood for fall. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. I'll be linking all of the makeup products down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos, don't forget to subscribe.